This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and mobile, right? Well, this is certainly mobile, though. This is a mini desktop PC, what Intel calls a NUC, and you see, stands for Next Unit of Computing, whatever that actually means. Anyway, it's a very mobile PC that is functioning basically like a desktop. This one is made by, as you can see, the logo Chewy. Now, we've reviewed some of their products in the past, mostly through importers like Gearbest. They make affordable tablet Windows PCs and that sort of thing. So this is a whole new proposition for them. So they decided to go on Indiegogo and start a campaign to basically crowdfund this. What's running inside here is Intel's G platform, which we've seen on the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1 and the HP Spectre X360 15-inch, the latest edition, which means that you have an Intel G series Core i5 or i7 CPU inside an AMD Radeon Vega M graphics. So it's reasonably powerful, yet it's meant to actually fit in a laptop or something of this size. Now they're making this to be somewhat more affordable than and Intel's own Hades Canyon NUC and some of the competitors out there. And it's a little bit different from Intel's because right now their 8th gen is not available with a SSD inside or RAM. You gotta put that in yourself. It's kind of the bare bones box. This one is turnkey. The price isn't cheap though. I'll be interested to see what you think when we look at it now. So obviously you can see how small the Chewy high game is. It's sort of like a Mac mini only the Mac Mini is not the sharpest knife in the drawer anymore, it hasn't been updated, never was super powerful, whereas this one tries to be reasonably powerful. The AMD Radeon Vega graphics inside, it depends on which configuration you can get. There is the GL and the GH, we have the GL version inside, and that's like a GTX 1050, so you're going up to, with the better one, a GTX 1060 Max-Q. For those of you who are thinking more in uh, NVIDIA terms, because they kind of do own the graphics market right now. So that's that's certainly something more powerful than a lot of the little mini all-in-one PCs that we've seen, which tend to often have things like Intel Atom or Celeron processors or weaker Core i5 mobile CPUs inside. This is a 65 watt total package for the CPU and GPU AMD, and Intel did a partnership with this to create something that is better than your integrated graphics solution, obviously by a long shot, but it doesn't have the power and the heat requirements of an NVIDIA card inside. So it makes these kind of things possible. So Chewy decided to go ahead and make one of these, and that's that's a cool thing. And their idea was, well, because Intel's is a bare bones with no RAM, no SSD, no hard drive. In fact, the Intel one doesn't even have a hard drive. Bay. They were going to make it turnkey. Windows 10 pre-installed, you can get it with two different configurations, which you can see on screen right now. But it's still kind of expensive, isn't it? Now, it really is for those of you who don't have a lot of space, but you want enough power for something that can do Adobe Premiere that can compile code. You can even do some Blender and some ZBrush on it and some moderate gaming in a really tiny box that you could take to your friend's house or move from room to room pretty easily. It is still a desktop. You're going to have to plug in your own mouse and keyboard or use Bluetooth ones. This does have Intel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board. Obviously the monitor of your choice. We're using an LG 4K monitor with it. It had no problems doing anything that we threw at it, driving that 4K monitor, so that's pretty impressive. There are a lot of ports on this. This is true of Intel's own reference design as well. So we've got four different monitor ports. We've got two full-size display, display ports, and those are 1.3. We have HDMI 2.0 on board as well. And there's a USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 jack on the front, which in theory could drive another monitor. So these can drive 4K monitors to 60 hertz, multiple monitors. I'm not sure how many of you are going to set up five, four, even monitors with one of these, but you could do it. You've got gigabit ethernet on board as well. This doesn't have an SD card slot though. That's the only other thing I would like to see. There's a lot of USB type A ports, 3.0, there's five of them in fact. So the connectivity on this is really it, stunning given the size of the device. Opening up is pretty easy on the, t on the bottom side. Don't bother with the top because there's another inner plastic cover there. You have, basically you're gonna use an Allen key, a hex wrench, five millimeter on this, no fancy torque screws or anything obscure like that. Just unscrew the screws, take off the cover, and inside you can see there's two RAM slots. So it comes with, regardless of the configuration, eight gigs of DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM, but there's two slots. So you can go up to 32 gigs or just throw another eight in there and you're up to 16 in dual channel at that point already once you add another RAM slot. Comes with an M.2 SSD. It supports SATA and PCIe and VME SSDs. The 4C brand SSD that we got on ours isn't super fast, but it's a decent speed. And the nice thing is there is a two and a half inch drive drive bay built into the bottom lid. So and they give you the little connector cable that's necessary to hook it up to the itsy bitsy little motherboard inside.
One thing it is, though, is noisy when it's working. It's funny, it's more noticeable because it's, <laughs> they need to adjust their fan curves. It goes from being really quiet to nearly silent to suddenly just, wah! And you're like, wow, what happened there? And <laughs> so there is a BIOS update to address that. And they said by the time that they ship it, they're actually going to change to fans with fluid bearings to make those quieter, use a better thermal paste inside, and those BIOS tweaks. So it's not going to be something that roars. Or so they claim. We don't have that finished product, so I can't tell you for sure about that. Inside too, there it's a little hard to see unless you really thoroughly take it apart, but there is one nice massive copper heat sink in there and some heat pipes as well. So I'll tell you one thing, it, the thing might be noisy because the fans are more aggressive, or the fan, singles 90 millimeter, is more aggressive than it needs to be, but the CPU and the GPU temperatures are just fine. If you compare them to a competing laptop, say, which is also limited in form factor, the temperatures are the same. The CPU temperatures typically, at worst, benchmarking and gaming are in the upper 80 centigrade to low 90s, and the AMD GPU is around 75 centigrade or so. It's fine if you want to play something like Fortnite on high settings, certainly. You you can play some Overwatch. You could even do something like play Battlefield 1 at medium to high settings, depending on which configuration you go for. You're not, you're not going to be playing Far Cry 5 at ultra settings or something. This is not a big, serious gaming rig by any means, but it certainly is one of the most powerful itsy boxes you could ever find. That can do those kinds of things. In spirit, this is a mobile product, and the size of the power brick doesn't matter that much. The 135-watt power brick is pretty sizable. It's just ironic, given how small this device is when you see the power brick next to it. But it's not like you're going to be throwing this in your backpack every day. Which leads to, who is this for? And I'd like to hear in the comments what you think about this. While it's pretty miraculous that we get this much power in this small a box, how many of you are willing to spend $1,000 or more for that? kind of portability in a mini desktop versus just getting a laptop or saying, oh, forget it, I'm just going to buy a gaming tower or something like that and just be happy in the one room that it's stuck in. You tell me what you think about that. So that's the Chewy High game. Certainly there's not much like it on the market, only a few competing products. And I do hope that this continues on and thrives as a thing. I also hope the prices do come down as well because it's pretty miraculous to have a PC that doesn't take up half of your study, right? I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and cutting-edge high tech. And thumbs up if you like this vid.